Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It is now patch 1.4. Actually, it's 1.4.0.1. Because there was a little micro patch. And um, that's why I want to wait another week before I start my uh, my next campaign. Because I want to use the, uh, the balance mod made by Admiral Snackbar. And... Um, because I'm guessing they're gonna roll out these little micro patches uh, quite uh, quite often right now just after the uh, patch 1.4 dropped I don't want to deal with having to uh, update my uh, my mod every single time I play so I'm gonna hold off just a week and just finish Resident Evil or something in the meantime but, since we are here, what does patch 1.4 include? Well, 87 new hulls. A German hybrid battleship, which is classed as a battlecruiser. Lots of new British cruisers. A new uh, German cruiser. Actually, two new German cruisers. Other new cruisers. Uh, French, Austrian, Russian, Japanese. And a lot of the nations now have um, heavy cruisers that are uh, kind of early interwar period type of heavy cruisers available from 1917 and onwards. Uh, let's see, let's see. Escort. Cruiser, light, modern light cruisers, advanced scout cruiser, lots of new hulls, and we're gonna take a look at them. Yeah, that's a lot of new hulls to, uh, to go through. I'm, I'm not gonna go through the ones from like the pre-Dreadnought era because again that's just not that interesting to me and uh, for the most part those early hulls are kinda like w whatever they do end up much the same we can just quickly uh, scroll through them and take a quick look experimental battleships uh, yeah this is early early stuff pre-dreadnoughts but there are some um, there's some late game stuff here too available from 1935 modern light cruiser 2 Uh, new guns, new quad guns for all techs, all calibers and all nations, new British gun models for calibers up to 6 inch. New French gun models for large caliber guns of 17 inch and higher for Mark 1 and 2 techs. New French 4 inch gun models for Mark 4 and 5 techs. And some uh, other things. Yeah, the AI will now no longer send ships all over to run out of fuel. Also, I read on the forums that... Um, if, if you noticed, in my German campaign, whenever I sent ships across the Pacific, they always uh, arrived low on fuel, because the game, the way the game calculated the fuel consumption, uh, it was as if they went from um, because the map is split right it, it's not a continuous loop so the game calculated as if you had just sailed across the entire globe instead of just uh, across the uh, the map border if that makes sense but that's apparently been fixed so let's take a look at some of these hulls yeah let's start with uh, China why don't we 
think this is uh, this is some of the new stuff. So far, not that much uh, interesting. Let's uh, quickly scroll to uh, the Dreadnought era and see what they get. guessing available from 1905 yes so they've had that for a while let's see what kind of cruisers they do get let's go to uh, 1910 so yeah my old shared designs still remain Although I guess a lot of them will need to be uh, to be fixed. get some armored uh, cruisers fast armored cruiser is that a new one that is a new one it's got these boxes here medium cruiser is also a new one I think uh, that's been there before and China is early game still kind of boned when it comes to uh, to battle cruisers. Let's keep going. Let's see what they get in uh, 1917. Lots of nations now get um, experimental heavy cruiser. I think that's new. It's kind of like that one British armored cruiser hull, but without the uh, the raced bits. So that could actually be uh, decent to build on. What kind of? Well, you can actually get decent towers on this. With like built-in barbettes. What can they fit? Can they fit elevens? Mm, you can fit an 11 in the back. How about doubles? How about tens? Mm, not quite there. Yeah, you can make a very um, heavily armed cruiser with this hull. Max optimal speed is 28 knots, 29 basically. That's not bad for 1917. That's not bad at all. That light cruiser has been there before. Small scout cruiser, have they always had access to that? I don't think so. How good is it at scouting? That is terrible tower spotting. It's not very good at scouting. It's a huge tower. It seems to only fit the raised part. Not entirely sure if that's actually a new hull, but I think it is. Let's see, what do they get at 1920? Decent battlecruiser hull and this thing. Experimental heavy cruiser. Large armored cruiser. Yeah, this one can get tower spotting up to uh, three and a half kilometers. Well, this one can go up to almost six kilometers. That's a pretty big, uh, big difference.
medium cruiser. I'm not sure if that's actually new. This one, though. I'm not sure if this is actually a new uh, hull. But... This kind of tower spotting is pretty epic. Because this is still the uh, pre-radar age where you are very limited in how far you can actually see. And just having a couple of ships in your fleet with decent tower spotting, that makes a big difference. But I'm not sure if this is actually a new hull. Yeah, the small scout cruiser was terrible at uh, actually scouting. This one is not too terrible. It can get this tower with built-in barbettes. And almost 6,000 uh, meters of spotting. Yeah, you can put some guns on this. 1921, though. This is where uh, a lot of nations get access to actually decent heavy cruisers. Mm. I've built this previously. That's one of my old share designs, but this is no longer a viable uh, design because they no longer have access to this hull. Well, it's been uh, it's been replaced with this. Which is not as good, I think, but at least it's available sooner. Now we can get the compact heavy cruiser in 1922. Which has a max optimal speed of uh, 32.5 knots. So you'll have access to the large armored cruiser and the armored cruiser 5, which is still the go-to hull if you want to have uh, some actual spotting range, but this cannot go that fast. Max optimal speed is only 23 and a half knots. So let's see. Where do we get access to some... Uh, here we go. Modern Heavy Cruiser 1. Here we get that hull. In 1925. And also the Modern Light Cruiser. Okay. So, 1925, that's when you get, like, actually good modern cruisers for China. Compact light cruiser. Yeah, it's one of these. Nineteen twenty nine also have access to experimental battleship, which can be made quite fast. It's got built in barbettes. Modern battlecruiser, which is not a bad hull. It's basically the um, the hull I built my battlecruisers on for last week's uh, or this Monday's shipyard champions, where we had to make Chinese ships. Let's keep going. Let's see what China has in store. Weren't that many new hulls for China. Let's just jump ahead to 1940. See what we got. Gun cruiser. As well as compact light cruiser. 
Light Cruiser 5 still available. Modern Light Cruiser 1. Gun Cruiser, I think that's a new hull. It's got access to this with very good tower spotting. You can put quad 7s on the built-in barbettes. That's a lot of guns. Keep going to 1940. Fast battleship. Yeah, no, that's the one I... Um, I think it was the one I was building on. On Monday. All those modern... Battle Cruiser 1. Get the super battleship. The command... Battleship. Which might be new. I think it is. I don't think I've seen it before. And one of the new things in patch 1.4, you can go all the way to 1950 with your custom designs, which means you can actually get Mark V all the way up to 20 inch which is quite nice so that was China let's go Britain I know they have some um, quite a lot of new stuff let's go back to 1910 and work our way up the line actually in 1905 I think Anything new here? Armored Cruiser 5, that's the one they've had since forever. And it's this has been the hull they have been limited to all the way up to until they get modern heavy cruiser 1. As for light cruisers, well they've been uh, limited to this. Well, and these two, but light cruiser three, armored cruiser five. That's pretty much it for for like actually usable good hulls to build on for the British up until the 1920s, where you typically research the um, the modern heavy cruiser. Maybe sooner if you prioritize that kind of tech, but the AI won't. So. The AI is going to be rolling around in these up until at least the late 1920s, most of the time. So let's see if that changes. Let's go to 1910. That's uh, an older design. I haven't cleaned up all my shared designs yet. So Armored Cruiser 5, still available. Let's see if my um, yeah Aurora it's still being shown as messed up because um, if you remember early on in my German campaign, these were actually a very challenging foe. Well, that's about. Probably the best you can build on the Armored Cruiser 5 hull. Let's see, do they get anything better now in uh, 1910? No. 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 Oh, this is 1908. Let's go to 1910. Other ship built on the same hull. But still, yeah, no, they get Scout Cruiser now in 1910. That's pretty neat. And a tower that can actually spot a little bit. 
yeah, 5,700 meters spotting. What was the best you could get on um, on the Hawk? On this armored cruiser hull? Yeah, no. Nowhere near. So, um, yeah. The Brits now can actually get a ship that can spot. Armored Cruiser 5 still what they have available as a heavy cruiser in 1911. In 1912. 13. I don't think they've gotten any new battleship hulls. But the addition of the Scout Cruiser all the way back to 1910. That's a pretty nice nice buff to the uh, British cruiser uh, lineup. Let's see here. Yeah, that's still uh, built on the Armored Cruiser 5 hull. Large light cruiser as a battle cruiser. What is this? That is neat. It's a battle cruiser available in 1916. Optimal speed of 32.6 knots. It's a lot faster than any of the other battle cruisers. What can you build on this? That's 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 some awesome tower spotting. Oh, even one funnel is enough to give you enough engine efficiency. Oh, okay, uh, let's go thirty-three knots then. But if you give it, yeah, yeah, you only need one funnel on this, even with natural boilers and gear turbines one. And you can fit some 14s on it. Now, another change in 1.4 is that a lot of hulls have very strict limitations on like what you can armor them with. Yeah, it only goes up to 8.6. Even if we uh, put some of this stuff on. Yeah, no, you can increase it up to 9.9. .9. I don't know exactly what I did to uh, allow me to increase that. Was it the barbette? Was it the citadel? Well, 9.4 now, but if I go to citadel 4... Ah! So, citadel technology allows you to increase your main belt. That's new. I'm pretty sure it's new. Interesting, interesting. 9.9 uh, .9 still isn't great belt thickness for a battle cruiser. But at least you can go kind of fast. How fast can you go before... There we go. 36.5 maybe? Yeah, 36.5. And then you can just go induced boilers. And that's with the single funnel. Can you even fit the biggest funnel on this? You can. 
Can you actually fit two funnels? No. But no, you can't fit the the largest funnel. It just kind of clips into the tower, but that's okay. That is neat. That's a cool hull. But we ain't seen nothing yet, because now comes 1917. And this is where we get Heavy Cruiser 1. Previously, there was another Heavy Cruiser 1 that was available in 1921. This is 1917. You might don't not think that's a huge difference, but it kind of is. It means that the British actually have access to a decent Heavy Cruiser hull if you do a campaign starting year of 1920. It's not like they have to start out with like this stuff. And then they have to research some holes to get this. No, they actually start with it. And that's that's neat. I'm gonna build on this heavy refit tower. Maybe this one, unless you increase the beam. Yeah, that's some serious tower spotting though. Let's uh increase the beam a bit. That's a very skinny ship. I don't like fat ships, but this one could actually use some uh, some meat on her bones. Oh yeah. Yeah, you get nine 11-inch guns pointing forward. Let's see what kind of armor you can actually put on it. 2.8? No, no, no. What's the maximum? 8.2. That's not great. It's not actually not terrible. 1917 Heavy Cruiser, 8.2 inches of armor. Crop 4 and a Citadel 4. And then you slap on some uh, some inner belts. Yeah, you can make a decently tanky ship out of this. With incredible tower spotting. Yeah, I'm liking that. I also get the Light Cruiser 6. Which I'm not sure if that's been in the game all the time. And I've just forgotten about it. And got this one with built in barbettes. Make a very uh, dual barbette rear tower. Let's fit some funnels on this. Let's fit some guns on it. Six inch guns. Got a four weight offset, but we can fix that maybe with some uh, some torpedo launchers. Make them twenties. It's a little bit of a four weight offset. Put those further back. gonna find something to put here. Let's see, what kind of armor can we put on this uh, light cruiser? Four inches, that's not much. It is a light cruiser though, so uh, I guess it's not too terrible. Can I actually increase it further if I just slap on all of this stuff? I can, I can, okay. Oh, up to four inches. 0.1 inches more by adding all of that stuff. So that is a new game mechanic. How fast can we make it? Can we make it 30... not 25. 
35 knots. Ship is overweight. No, oh, that's. We passed its uh, limit. We then go oil, geared turbines. 34. Uh, 34 seems to be the maximum. Complex refit tunnel. Funnel, not tunnel. Advanced angled funnel. Okay, these are a bit narrower. Like longer. Yeah, you can make a pretty nice light cruiser on this hull. Doris in 1917. Uh, Scout Cruiser, we've seen that before, Light Cruiser 5. Yeah, they're kind of uh, in the same family, so to speak. But Heavy Cruiser 1 and the new Light Cruiser hulls, very, very nice. Even the large Light Cruiser. Is there a new Dreadnought hull? Like the British have never been really hurting for good Dreadnought hulls. But yeah, I, I like this a lot, even though it's very limited in what kind of armor you can put on it, but I like it. Let's keep going. Let's see what we get in 1920. Uh, so we get the N3 G3 class. Battlecruiser 5, long-time favorite of mine. What kind of armor can you put on this, uh, this hull now? Come on. There you go. If you max out all this stuff, what kind of armor can you put on a British battlecruiser? 9.8. If I go with Citadel 4, ah, 10.2. Citadel 4 allows you to put more armor on than Citadel 5 on the main belt. That's interesting. Let's uh let's keep going. Now so we'll get heavy cruiser one, armored cruiser five. Scott cruiser. Lots of this crash is still available. 1922 then. There we go. Heavy Cruiser 2. I think that's new. I think that's a new hull. Let's chunk it up a bit to fit. Help. Chunky, do you have to be? There we go. Big square tower. <laughs> Quad 11s. Why not? Yeah, that's eight 11 inch guns pointing forward. Not sure if that's practical. I don't think you have advanced quad turrets in 1922. But it's something. It's an option. Heavy Cruiser 1 is still here. A uh, a better looking hull, I, I would have to say, than this. Let's 
keep going. What else do you get? So many holes. Mm, nothing really new. 1923. Let's go 1925. See what we get. Modern Light Cruiser 1 and 2. Modern Light Cruiser 1, I think you've gotten that a long time. Modern Light Cruiser 2, I think that's new. I think that's a new hull. Again, you have to make it a bit chonky to actually fit the tower. Put six inch guns on it. Here, that's the tower I was looking for. The British uh, five point something uh, inch guns. And they were actually twins, not triples. If you want to build something a little bit more historical, something like a uh, kind of Dido class. Well, not quite. I might actually like this... this more. Because you can get the, uh, the one with the double barbettes on it. Six thousand four hundred tower spotting but with modern light cruiser 2 yeah that is uh, it's a pretty big step up in tower spotting though and I get modern heavy cruiser 2 I'm not sure if that's new it looks like one of the kind of generic hulls Yeah, no, I've built something on this before. This is that's not a new hole. Let's go to nineteen twenty-six. Compact heavy cruiser is that new? Was that the one we just looked at? Let's go 1930. With the modern battleship. Had that for a while. Battlecruiser 6. Also not a new hull. Modern heavy cruiser 4. I think that's new. Not 100% positive on that, but I think it's new. Okay, let's go to 1940. And here we go. Uh, got the Super Battle Cruiser. Always been available. Command Cruiser. What can I build on that? In 1940, you got tons of radar stuff, which combined with a. Uh, 10,500 meter tower spotting. Let's just see. How much armor can you put on? That's still 4 is uh, for the maximum armor belt. 11.2. And with radar spotting, you can spot out to uh, 41,000 meters. Not bad, not bad. Ex 
experimental heavy cruiser. And that one, I think this is still the uh, the prettiest hull. Even though it kind of just looks like a shrunken battleship. Advanced escort cruiser. One and two. And scout cruiser. And yeah. Anything in 1950 that we haven't seen before? Not really. Now let's go to France. I can start from the top now, actually. Scroll our way back. I think they've had these uh, modern battlecruiser things for a while now. Heavy Cruiser 1, that's a new hull. I think that's one they get quite early, but it's still available in 1950. Advanced Escort Cruiser is, I think, also uh, quite new. And some modern light cruisers. Mm, yeah. They're still available in 1940. Let's... Um, so in 1935, I think you've got everything unlocked. And you just keep playing with it from there on until 1950. 1930, though. What do you have here? Got modern Heavy Cruiser 2. 1. Heavy Cruiser 1. Modern Light Cruiser 1, Light Cruiser 4, Light Cruiser 5. Let's go back to 1925. What do you have in 1925 as the French in terms of cruisers? Got Modern Heavy Cruiser 1 already in 1925. Heavy Cruiser 1, Modern Light 1, Light 6, Light 5. So, these are all, like, decent hulls to build on. In 1924, though, and, and this has been uh, kind of the problem with the French, is that they've, until they get the actual modern heavy cruisers, they've only had access to, like, this kind of junk. But now, 1924, they got this hull. How early do they get that? I think that's a 1917 unlock. The light cruiser five, and that's going to be a uh, quite an improvement to the French lineup. Yeah, heavy cruiser one and light cruiser five in nineteen twenty-three. Still in nineteen uh, twenty-one. I made this design for them for my uh, my German campaign, Modern Heavy Cruiser 1, but it is no longer available from 1921. Uh, you get it later. But, I still have Heavy Cruiser 1 available. And if I'm not mistaken, they get it in 1917. Yeah. Heavy Cruiser 1. Light Cruiser 5. And still some of this Armored Cruiser uh, stuff. In 1916, though, they don't have that. They get Armored Cruisers, a Semi Armored Cruiser, and a Scout Cruiser. So, yeah, 1917, that's when you start to get some. Uh, some actual good stuff. 
for the French. What do they have available in 1910, I wonder? Yeah, it's uh, stuff like this. So previously the French have been stuck with armored cruisers up until 1921 when they get the modern heavy cruiser. But now they get heavy cruiser 1 in 1917, which as I said it's quite a uh, actually quite an upgrade although the modern heavy cruiser uh, is not available until 1925, 26, something like that. And the Germans have been in a similar situation. Let's see here, German Empire 1910. Yeah, large armored cruiser. I was stuck with these for a very long time in my uh, in my German campaign. Do you actually have any good light cruisers to build on now? It took me a good while in the German campaign to actually get good light cruiser hulls. Let's jump to 1915. See what we get. Still, armored, um, large armored cruiser. A cruiser 4, 2, Yeah, 1915. Still not really anything good for cruisers. But in 17, come here, 17, there you get the heavy cruiser, which I've already made a design for it. And it's a, yeah, it's a decent one. It's the same hole that the French get. You also get Light Cruiser 5. It's a bit bumpy. Well, there's not mm, a lot of places you can put stuff, but 1917, yeah, you do get double guns. Yeah, you can make a er decent early light cruiser on this hull. There's one more though, scout cruiser. What's the difference? You know, the scout cruiser can go a little bit faster. Lübeck. It doesn't get quite the same tower spotting as some of the other nations got, but that's a uh, recurring weakness. have any better DDs now. Ah, uh, it's still uh, bumpy. Let's go to 1920, see what we have. Yeah, so the large armored cruiser is... Uh, is it obsolete in 1917? It is. Yeah, large. Uh, the old armored cruiser has become obsolete in 1917. Yeah, still heavy cruiser, light cruiser five, scout cruiser. Not great, DD uh, hulls. Still. Now, previously, the uh, the Germans had. Um, their modern heavy cruisers became available in 1921, as with most other nations. That's no longer the case. They come in later. How much later? 1925. That's when you get the modern heavy cruiser 1, modern light cruiser 1 that we know from uh, before. Mm, 
1926. Still kind of the same stuff. Let's go 1930. Advanced Armored Cruiser 1 and 2. That's the uh, Deutschland class hull. Large cruiser. It's a battle cruiser. Is that a new one? Yeah, no, that's the uh, hull I built the Mercat class on. I'm pretty sure. Let's see, how soon do you actually get the Advanced Armored Cruiser? You get the Advanced Armored Cruiser in uh, 1928 along with the Heavy Cruiser 2. No, 1926. And in 1930, you get the Advanced Armored Cruiser 2. How much armor can you put on one of these now? I wonder. Let's find out. Thirteen inches. So you can still make these quite heavily armored. And a modern battlecruiser. Battlecruisers have also been kind of limited in what kind of armor they can uh, have applied. I found that Citadel 4 gives you access to more belt armor than Citadel 5. 13.2 on the modern battlecruiser. While the large cruiser... Fifteen. Okay, so you can make these quite heavily armored. How about the modern heavy cruiser two? With all of this protection technology, like it's not necessarily like you wouldn't always want anti torp five and triple hull bottom on these cruisers because that just adds a lot of weight. 11.2. That's 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 enough for a heavy cruiser. Let's keep going. And also more hulls were added. Modern battle heavy cruiser three. That's a new one, I'm pretty sure. What's the funnel situation? Uh, still only one funnel. And yeah, this is supposed to be like an Admiral Hipper kind of... kind of ship. I can't... Quad 11s on the uh, internal barbettes, but you can put triples. Let's see, how much armor can you put on this? Oh, this is a little 4. Potentially. 7.8? That's less than Armored Cruiser 2. Uh, heavy Cruiser 2, I mean. Let's do the same here, just to... Uh... And this one can actually fit more funnels. I think Heavy Cruiser 2 might still be uh, be the one to go with. Let's see, let's see. Hope it's not because of my barbette that I fit on the other hull. Yeah, no. Modern Heavy Cruiser 2 has better access to funnels than Modern Heavy Cruiser 3 and can fit more armor. 
So I would say it's the better hull. Let's keep going. 1935, I think there was, uh, yeah, we got a new one here. Hybrid battleship. It's a larger battlecruiser hull. Basically, what's the funnel situation? Uh, I still got the Uber funnels. Still not possible to fit two of them. And if you want the uh, the secondary tower with the uh, built-in barbette, you get no funnel slot on that. How about the other ones? You can kind of get that and do something ugly. If you want to. What kind of guns can you fit on, um, on this? I just wish it was possible to put a funnel on that rare tower. But it's not. Can you put 16s on this? You can. can put 16 inch guns on that. Granted, these are only Mark III. Let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 that's uh, not for now, not for now. Hybrid battleship. Can you fit? And these are now Mark V in uh, 1945. Can they still fit? No. So Mark V 16s do not fit on the built in barbette. Oh, that is sad. How about 15s? 15s fit. How much armor could you put on this? Sixteen point eight. That's a solid armor belt. That's actually not bad. The funnel situation isn't any better, but uh, might be able to make that work. Do the 16s fit on the... Uh, yeah, they fit on the back. It's just not the front barbette. Can I make them... 15.9s? No. 15.8. That's the biggest you can fit for Mark IV guns, uh, Mark V's on this hull. On the built-in barbette. I'm just gonna double check if the other Actually, Modern Tower 8, the worst one, it can kind of fit, kind of fit. If you mount it backwards, <laughs> Uh, that is silly. You can't fire forwards, but, but you can fire to the sides, but only if you mount the turret backwards, otherwise you can only fire to one side. Uh, 
uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna report a bug there. <laughs> Select category shipbuilding. B turret. When using Mark V, 16 inch B on the built in can only fire to the side but only when mounted barrels clipping into the bridge so that's a bit of a weirdness Yeah. So, uh, if in doubt, just point your guns at the captain, and he will allow your turret to work. Is that possible with... Yeah. So you can do that with the best tower also. I wonder if that actually works. Like as long as you mount your turret like this, you can actually use the Mark <laughs> Mark 516. Just not straight forwards, but the turret fits. That is silly. That's quite silly. Do we get any better DDs? Hybrid destroyer. That's the big chunky one that's basically a light cruiser. And yeah, no, still very bumpy destroyer hulls, sadly. Let's check out United States. What kind of hulls do they have now? Mm, let's see, fast battleship. Is that like supposed to be an Iowa? No, it can't be. There's the uh, familiar US bow. Modern battlecruiser. Boston, yeah, this is more like What you would expect it to look like. Super heavy cruiser too. Yeah, modern heavy cruiser too. Still the best looking uh, U.S. cruiser hull. The other ones are kind of tall and weird. And heavy cruiser one, which we've seen, it's available from uh, 1920. Unless that has changed. Large Scout Cruiser. Are you new? Got a Flush Deck DD. I think that's new. With some boxes on it. I guess you're supposed to fit the funnels between there. It's not a good selection of rare towers. Mm. 
This is just very strange. Let's go back to 1940, see what we have access to. Here are some ships I've made before. Let's actually go way back to uh, 19, um, 1910. Because that's been a period where the Americans have been struggling previously. Okay. Something is going on with the humongous. Let's go to 1910 now. There we go. Hulls. Yeah, they're still stuck with these absolutely horrible armored cruisers. But in 1915, do they get anything better? You get a large armored cruiser, which is still kind of horrible. You get a scout cruiser, which is decent. Like all of these ships with these kind of weird boxes on them, these are new hulls that I haven't seen before. Let's see, 1917, do they get anything good there? Large Scout Cruiser, yeah, it's available in 1917. This is, I think, supposed to be something like an Omaha. The Omaha's had they had four funnels. Let's see if you can build something approximating an Omaha. A bit of four-weight offset, but okay. Can you move that? front tower further back and then place a barbette here I guess you can now can you put uh Side guns not available. Casemate guns not available. But what are these for? Shouldn't you be able to fit? I can fit three inch guns. But yeah, no, you can't really make an Omaha. Maybe if I go six inch single? No, no, still not. Not possible. Not with a five inch. Oh, there we go. No. So you just get these weird boxes on the hull that don't do anything and just block your uh, <laughs> your firing arcs. You can't really make an Omaha.
because the Omaha's had a lot of uh, like built-in casemate six-inch guns and single turrets. But that's uh, that's a quick overview of some of the new hulls available in patch 1.4. Uh, some of them are quite decent. Some of them are like, like this. Not sure what, what the purpose of these boxes. Well, fine, you got some built-in barbettes for secondary guns, but. Yeah. Mm. Eh. Eh. What do you get in 1922? What do you get? When do you get the heavy cruiser hull? And uh, for the Americans, it's kind of relevant if I'm gonna start an American campaign. Nineteen twenty large armored cruiser, armored cruiser five. No, 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 no. America has gone from being the nation that got the uh, the heavy cruiser f one first to being the ones that get it the last. It's no bueno. Heavy Cruiser 1, 1922. Where they get Heavy Cruiser 1 and 2. Well. I guess I have to start my American campaign with no Heavy Cruisers because, uh, yeah. I don't really, uh, let's go back to 1920, see what we have available. Take this as a teaser for the upcoming campaign. Get good light cruisers though, well, at least this one. But these armored cruisers, yeah, I just, uh, central line guns. Can you make them heavily armed, at least? Well, I can kind of put... ...some turrets up here. With terrible firing arcs. Can you even make something... As ...approximating a... Uh, a, B, X, Y. Set up. Oh, because you have to mount that up there. Can I get barbettes on this? No. Not even that. Oh, well, we can make something with um, 11 inch guns at least can you even put a lot of funnels on this yeah you can that is not pretty I don't like it but it's uh, it's what they have available in 1920, so I guess that's you know what you have to live with. Hmm. Or just ignore the heavy cruiser class altogether and uh, just build uh, scout cruisers and battle cruisers. I guess. We'll see how it goes. I think I'm gonna start my uh, my American campaign next weekend. Gonna give it another week of uh, small patches before I do anything. Goodbye, and take care.